Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to Sensor Tower Monthly Revenue Report for March 2023. Big shout out again to Number Locks BS for this chart right here. So let's jump into it. So yeah, let's glance through this particular chart and have a look at a couple of things. Uh, by the way, if you guys are not aware, the red signifies that a drop from the previous month and the green number signifies that it's increased from the previous months uh, that's compared to. So let's have a look at the top gacha games that makes the most money in March. Uh, right now we're in April, so lots of interesting increase and decrease to look at. So first up, we have Uma Musume. You can see $25 million in February and now it was able to earn about $76 million. That is insane. Keep in mind, this Uma Musume is only for JP server. So that is a crazy jump right there. From 25 million to 76 million, 50 million increase. Now what is happening? What is happening right now in Uma Musume? Uh, I was scrolling through to see some of the comments and apparently uh, a lot of players have been saying they are having two year anniversary right now, all right? And they release a meta card or a meta character. So that means that's going to encourage a lot of players that have been saving up to roll and of course some whales to even whale for it and favorite uma also released so yeah everyone was just rolling on it so that is insane uh going forward uh, uma musume is something that i'm quite surprised this game is not available globally yet like considering the amount that it could the amount of money it could rake in that is insane all right 50 million increase when anniversary comes in that's going to be something that uh we'll see if uma musume will ever get a global version now genshin impact is seeing a decrease from 67 million to 47 million now this is to be expected there's nothing happening in genshin right now there's no meta characters as far as i know like the most recent one was dehia banner now dehia wasn't very well accepted or very well received so that's to be uh, expected still decent chunk right there very very good uh making it to top uh second now on third place, we have Nikkei. All right, so this surprises me. As a Nikkei player, true and true, uh, I have no idea how they are still able to get 28 million for a month that there's like literally nothing. The Chainsaw Man collab was happening on February and they managed to get 28 million out of that. I was expecting Nikkei to drop slightly, maybe 20, maybe 15, but they are still managing the same uh, you know the same ranks right there which is kind of crazy uh, plus this is not including the pc client right so this is just including android and ios so pc client personally i myself have stopped buying on android and ios i personally prefer to use the pc client to purchase things and from what i've gathered it's cheaper as well it could be depend on your region as well but don't quote me on that that's what i've been hearing for some uh, players uh, you can see fourth place fate grand order uh, 47 million down to 20 million okay fgo is doing slightly less maybe because there's no special banners whatsoever heaven burns rate 25 million goes down to 19 million okay project sikai is getting a slight increase from 11 to 15 million all right so that's interesting so three jp titles right here uh, that's still going very very strong now looking on at summoner's war this game how old is this game right now eight years old seven years old still going strong crazy from eight to 14 million that's a huge increase maybe there's something crazy going on right now uh some meta banners or whatsoever but that's some crazy chunk of money right there blue archive jp server all right this is not to be confused with the global server is earning a decent chunk still it drops slightly from 17 million to 12 million but a hey, 12 billion is making it in the top 10 in the gachas right now like that is insane but this is just jp server alone uh which is insanely insanely good revenue in my humble opinion memento mori still earning a very good chunk of money right there from nine it dropped to eight million dropped by one million but still decent chunk of cash flow in right there epic seven everybody's favorite pvp game four million uh still losing to summoner's war right but uh considering summoner's war is a very very old game but yeah epic seven at four million still doing very good uh blue archive global shy a little bit uh, below epic seven right there blue archive global was earning six million on previous months because there's more limited characters uh, to be obtained right there now it's earning three million for for the entirety of march there wasn't any you know crazy banners uh there was nothing actually uh most of the characters are skippable in somewhat of a way so i do think three million still a decent chunk right there and fate grand order so this fgo for global so earning a steady chunk of three million as well ever so all right so from four million has dropped slightly 
to 2.8 yeah this is quite a big drop right here right so 4 to 2.8 so considering that it was earning that amount feels like about 30% drop right there so again this is still decent uh, ever so is still going pretty strong uh, I think this is the only game that was released uh, early this year and yeah considering the revenue uh, hopefully is able to maintain the course uh, Tower of Fantasy 2.9 drop to 2.7 very slight decrease right there 200k decrease which is not bad Alright, if you think about it, Tower Fantasy, uh, I know there's a lot of players that don't like the game as much, but hey, uh, this is still decent overall. Now, Arknight's JP server is getting a steady income of 2 million. Good news, right? So there's nothing uh, crazy, no significant drop. Princess Connect JP has seen a significant drop from 4 to 2. Okay, uh, that is kind of interesting. Uh, Princess Connect Global announced shutdown recently. So this is the JP uh, server, and I was... You know, digging through and checking out some of that Twitter, uh, they got quite a lot of followers. But I was quite surprised uh, looking at this chart because uh, it's earning less than Blue Archive Global. I'm not talking about the Blue Archive JP, but Blue Archive Global. It looks like Blue Archive just has an uh, overall more massive fan base or players that are willing to spend more. So Azulane right here, uh, you can see this the JP server uh, 2.9 going down to 1.8. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Now next up, Limbus Company doing very well here so uh, this one hundred and five thousand is not really fair because it was released end of february right so i think it only has like a couple of days to rake in this much but now you can see limbus company uh, going strong in the month of march all right 1.5 uh, this is just counting android and ios keep in mind uh, limbus company is also available on steam so there's a chance that you know most players do prefer to play on steam uh, i know the optimization on mobile weren't that good as well so arc knights global you can see steady income 1.4 no changes there whatsoever uh, azulane from 1.2 to 1.4 slight increase path to nowhere going steady right there 1.1 maintaining the course uh right neck in neck within arc knight's territory Woo! tower defense games going strong depending on which kind do you like uh there's some players that play both Arc Knights and PTN, so that's definitely that for sure. Project Sikai, a global version, goes up a little bit, 700k to 1 million. Alright, next up we have Archland, this is a KR server exclusive, uh, it goes down a little bit, alright, so from 1.1 million goes down to 800k. We have Countersight going down a tad bit, so this is the after the origin, right, so 1 million because a lot of players have gotten the Shinja's exclusive skin, now it's starting to go down, 800,000, hopefully some collabs will try to bring it back eventually, alright, and then we have PGR getting a slight increase from 400k to 600k, we have Alchemy Stars uh, maintaining the steady course, that's a JP client for Alchemy Stars, Guardian Tales, slight decline of 100k right there, alright, PGR for JP server, Surprisingly, PGR JP is earning less than PGR Global. Yeah, I, I, I'm quite surprised. Usually JP games tend to, uh, you know, be much more favorable. There'll be much more revenue raking in. But for PGR, I guess this is an exclusive case. You can see 500,000 goes down to 400k. NeuroCloud, this is the global client. You can see it's earning double. That's good news for NeuroCloud players. Uh, 160,000 was, I think, very worrying, very worrisome for a lot of players. But now it's going up a little bit. Uh, there's more banners to be able to obtain. I think NeuroCloud deserve uh, more, you know, but hopefully they'll start doing more advertising if they see fit, right? Alchemy Stars Global. All right, this game, you know, a lot of players have been uh leaving the game coming back to the game leaving the game coming back to the game 140,000 earning bare minimum but you can see a uh, slight increase right there at 230,000 girls frontline global uh slightly increased 30,000 increase not bad now neurocloud jp got a slight increase as well uh going up to 150k princess connect global this is the one that was announced shut down yesterday if you guys haven't caught up with the news you can see a 100k uh i do believe uh Someone mentioned that the iOS revenue cannot be seen anymore, so this is only from the Android side. This is like pretty much the EOS territory it seems for some companies, so you gotta be very very careful, right? So something to take note of. Artery Gear is below Princess Connect. Considering that Artery Gear is from Billy Billy, I would say there's a chance that they might consider letting this go, but we'll see. Billy Billy is a massive company as well, they have plenty of projects in their hands. Uh, if they decide to bring more games into global, there's a chance that this might be the next one to go, but we'll see. All right, it's not doing that well. Sure, it's a slight increase from 60k to 90k. And Girls Frontline JP, this is like still going strong, uh, still very, very solid. Uh, 
keep in mind girls frontline Mika is a relatively small team so they are able to manage this uh, better than a lot of other games out there and you can see Grimlight right down at the bottom of the pit at about 29,000 revenue per month all right I'm not sure if they are even making anything right server cost salary for the uh, you know developer salary for the employees and stuff uh, it might be bare bottom minimum we'll see we'll see if they'll continue to maintain the momentum hopefully things will go well or else they'll end up like revive which which is out out of the equation yostar has decided to and revive which cycle so that is something to take note of so yeah uh, you can see that's the monthly revenue of march 2023 uh, let me know what you guys think i do think the nikkei definitely surprises me a little bit uma musume second anniversary huge jump right that crazy 76 million that is like just insane amount uh something unexpected for sure but hey uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe give this video a like and i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day good bye <music>